My name is Bill Muran. I am a retired healthcare executive and I serve on uh, three boards at this particular time to do community service. Megan, you want to briefly introduce yourself? Yeah, thanks, Bill. So my name is Megan White, and I'm the Senior Ethics Director at Raytheon Technologies Intelligence and Space uh, Company. So I work out of um, our El Segundo, California office, work from home these days, uh, been at Raytheon basically my whole career, started in contracts management for several years, and then moved over into ethics um, about 10 years ago. So I'm the head of the ethics department for our business, which is about 37,000 employees. So, um, so yeah, that's me and, and happy to be here. Uh, who will be doing the 90 second presentation? That would be me. Okay, uh, good morning. Good morning. I'm gonna read the instructions uh, and let me first of all, try to get the timer set. Imagine that you are an employee of the company and you encounter an executive who asks you why sustainable development is important and how that is linked to the team's topic. You have 90 seconds in which to convince the executive why this needs to be addressed. One member of the team will do this. So I have the timer at uh, 90 seconds. Uh, it's hard to give you notice, it's a short time. I'll, I will put my hand up if we're getting close, uh, hopefully around you know, 10 seconds left uh, to let you know. And whenever you're ready, you may begin. So uh, just let me know and I'll start the clock. All right, I think I'm, I'm ready. Good, go ahead. If I were to ask people why we care about the environment, it would be very rare to find someone that felt that caring about our planet felt like a task or something that is forced upon us. As humans sharing one space, one planet, we don't get second chances. Nobody is going to tell us to care, but we all share the same goal of trying to constantly create a better tomorrow. And that starts with sustainable development on our part. We know at this point in time, NFTs, cryptocurrency, blockchain, they can all seem like very abstract comments to the general public that may find such concepts confusing and hard to visualize. However, this isn't an opportunity for us to take advantage of that and ignore our carbon footprint. Rather, we should be doing the complete opposite. Beyond the complicated nature of the NFT space, the ultimate goal of them is to become part of something bigger, the metaverse. While I myself can't tell you that the metaverse is the next big thing or the next internet, we have to believe in its potential. But this potential can only be harnessed with properly addressing how we as an industry impact the planet. But more importantly, that we are innovating ways to reduce our carbon footprint and develop processes so that we can continue to grow this industry without the sacrifice of energy and others. Thank you. Hey, Jake. I thought the way you were able to kind of tie it all together there in 90 seconds and really, you know, take us from a very basic, everyone cares about the environment to how we connect it to what we're talking about today was really nicely done. So um, tough topic. And I thought you guys did a great job. So thank you again for all of the time that you put into this um, and, uh, and really appreciate all your hard work.